warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Balls loose, who's getting there? Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. And it's Neymar, chipped through, well played, he saw that coming. Luis Suarez, we sit high. Some good work on the right flank, now what's next? So what now? Chance! Barcelona still to register a shot on target. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. It was long and forward. Rakitic. Messi. And it's Luis Suarez, now it's Messi. Balls out on the left, now. And you can just about hear the collective sigh there, they know they got away with one. Neymar. Thrust towards the front line. Barcelona can count themselves very lucky there, they look fragile. Tries to dink it in. Now surely! Who's ball, who's going to get there? He's on to it, and it's in! First blood drawn! Bravo, reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was. Absolutely top-notch. So the deadlock broken by the underdogs. Iniesta. And it's Messi. Now it's Luis Suarez. Can he find a finish now? Danger averted for now. Iniesta. It's Iniesta! Oh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. Now the pass. Looking to shoot! Good movement there, but not the best of finishes. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Oh, you could tell he really wanted that. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Neymar. Barcelona trailing by one. Looking here to take it up a notch after the break. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. it through well read he sorted that out forward what does he try from here Rakitic plays 
a clever pass. Chance to shoot, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. run down the left what can they make of it PK pumps it forwards Messi Luis Suarez chance Iniesta hoops it upfield, deftly done, done very well to intervene. Tries to get it forward quickly. Who's going to make this theirs? And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. That was very, very close, he was just offside. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. And that's a throw in. It's all very neat football, but time is against them now, and they need to get the ball forward. Now it's Luis Suarez. And it's Rakitic. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. Listen, they had plenty of time to overcome the setback, but for me, they never quite had enough invention.